Hi and welcome to another episode of Essential Lightroom. In this video I'm going to show you how you can take the new Lightroom CC and create that orange and teal look quickly and easily. Now if you created the orange and teal look and you've seen the videos we created previously to show you how to do this, you'll know that it's pretty much solely done through the camera calibration option. To date, we don't have that function inside Lightroom CC. So until they introduce that, we've got to find another way of doing it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve a pretty similar result. So let's take a look at how to do that right now. So let's take a look at how we can do this inside Lightroom CC. I've got the edit module open on the right hand side and what we need to do is just jump down to the color panel and inside there we've got a couple of options. Now we've got the option to turn off, enable and disable various different functions to keep the interface quite simple. What we need to do is click on this color wheel which is the color mixer option. That'll expand that out and give us the ability to go in and adjust colors. So we've got the option to go through and adjust each of the individual component colors, the red, the orange, yellow, and so on. So because the orange and teal look is basically made up by shifting the blue and the red or orange colors, we're going to do that and target those specifically. So the first thing we're going to do is come over to the blue color. Check that and you can see you've got the hue option, which is the first option. Then we have saturation and luminance. So we could use the saturation and luminance to tweak any effect. But what we need to do is shift the hue of the blue color. So at the moment, we've got blue set as normal blue. If we shift that over to the left hand side, it's going to push it over into the sort of the teal look. So let's push that over and take a look at the sky in the top left hand corner and the girl's bikini. And you'll see those start to shift in color. So as we move that over, they start to take on more of a teal look. Once you find the effect that you're happy with, you can leave it there. If you want to increase the saturation of that, you can easily bump that up by pushing it over to the right hand side or to desaturate it, you can take it to the left hand side, whatever you think is the preference for the image you're working with. And finally, we can take the luminance and we could darken that down if you wanted to, or we can brighten it up again, whatever edit you want to make to taste. So now that we dealt with the blue, we need to go through and deal with the skin tones. And this is where that sort of teal and orange effect really comes into play. It really enhances skin tones. Now you've got two ways you can do this. You can come into the red channel and you can make tweaks in there. But depending upon the person or the skin tone you're trying to change, this may have a minimal, if any, effect whatsoever. Now if we took a look at the previous orange and teal, we used the camera calibration. We basically shift all the red tints over towards the orange counterpart. Well, we now have the option to edit the orange itself. So we'll select orange for this example, and we'll find that if we start to adjust the saturation and the luminance, as opposed to dealing with the actual hue itself, we'll start to get a very similar effect. So let's take a look at making some adjustments. I'm going to increase the saturation a little and keep an eye on the skin tone. You should start to see a difference in that. It'll start to take on more color. So you can see we start to really intensify those skin tones. We can now use the luminance in conjunction with that we can darken things down if we want to, or lighten things up, whatever we see is the right way to go with a particular skin tone we're dealing with. So if I darken that down, you can see we now have a much warmer skin tone. We've got those blues becoming more teal. We've now got a very similar effect to the teal and orange effect, just by using the color mixer. So let's enable and disable that. So this is the before, and this is the after. So you can see it really gives it a much more warm summer kind of glow. And that's how you can use Lightroom CC without using the color calibration setting or the camera calibration setting to deal with this and create a teal and orange style effect. Now, if you like the teal and orange effect, I'd recommend checking out our teal and orange toolkit, which is a whole collection of presets that allow you to create great looking teal and orange effects in your images with a couple of clicks. Link is in the description below, so check that out. If you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified every time we release a new video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else we cover on the channel, or anything you'd like to see covered on the channel in future videos, please pop that in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.